I'm Lawrence Mitchell, founder of Life Beyond Labels, and I'd like to tell you that the past two days has been very rewarding for me. On Wednesday, I was invited to Aspies in Worcester to spend the afternoon with Sarah and her mother and the members, and it was very interesting to learn and to meet all the many different types of Aspies. And... Um, there was this guy called Mike and his wife, and um, it was wonderful to meet them. They were very similarly aged to myself, probably a few years younger, but it was good to see how his wife had actually spent five years uh, researching autism so she could be a very supportive wife. And this made me feel good. It also made me feel good that there were people there just like me, Anyway, through going to Aspies, I also learnt about a conference which I attended at Stafford University yesterday, run by Lighthouse, and it was all about personal and clinical experiences. Particularly, I liked another Aspie, a young guy who was in his mid-twenties called John, who talked about his life story, talked about how when he was diagnosed at 16, he didn't fare too well. He was incarcerated because of his condition, because people didn't understand him. But what amazed me was I spent 40 minutes listening to a brilliant speaker who knew how to demonstrate that he was capable to of taking a very good PowerPoint uh, talk and handle a very captive audience who clapped quite often. So that was very interesting to experience. Then just before there was a guy called Steve. He was a psychiatrist with a difference. He was... Uh, telling the audience how he didn't really understand what autism was or what the concept of autism was. This actually made me feel good because sometimes I'm not sure exactly what autism is. I know that I've been diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, but I don't always know how to explain to people who are not like me exactly what Asperger's syndrome is, how it affects me. Of course, most of what affects me is inside of my head, and, it can, and the only time it is seen is when I do things which are awkward, silly, stupid, rude, things that upset other people, things that make people th think that I'm weird, and a person not to be associated with. Possibly one of the remarkable uh, people to listen to was Dr. Jackie Jackson, who um, I must admit I wasn't completely focused on because I was also trying to write my story, which was a bit ridiculous, a bit insensitive, but it was also because I had a night, or rather two nights before, of sleeplessness slept very, very badly, and that's not so good. That's when my demon shows its face, because it's very important for me to eat correctly. This morning I had a wonderful English breakfast in the hotel, staying up with kippers and porridge and toast, and I felt really nourished. And this is very important for all of you who might be watching my video. It's very relevant. For you to have a healthy life, you need to get adequate sleep, be well hydrated, watch your food, what you eat, and your nutrition. And there was one other person who was speaking at the conference, um, but unfortunately I can't remember her name, but anyway... The Lighthouse runs two conferences. The next one is in March. And I strongly encourage you uh, to 
get in touch with Lighthouse. They're a great organisation and they really know how to support people who are diagnosed with autism.